this is the first morning of uh, the first day of show. Yesterday we got to uh, Great Falls about noon and got started setting up the uh, show and got done about oh, 5 o'clock in that last night. A lot of nice, wonderful people here. A lot of great artwork and uh, a lot of great artists. Uh, it's uh, about a quarter to nine right now, and we're going to leave at 9.30. So I am going to get my Western on and go get some breakfast. Time to play with some clay. I, I said it already did. This is Todd Connor. He's my uh, next door neighbor here. This is where the real artwork is, and then we start with his. <laughs> He was on the radio this morning talking about the show, so now he's uh, asking for autographs <laughs> from us. No, we're we're asking for autographs from him. Can I have your autograph? Steve, you're on camera. Oh, hey. This is Steve Saylor. Hi, Dave. Seltzer. Seltzer, I'm sorry. I know a Steve <laughs> Saylor. That's my problem. Let me show your work here. Huh? You yeah. sure work here. Give it a good, give it a good, yeah. Promo, yeah. Notice I'm showing his work and not Todd's. And here's Todd's work. Todd's really a great artist. I just give him a bad time all the time, and he does me too. I want to show you some artwork by this lady here and these are pastels not oils but pastel that's what that is right there is pastel and look at that painting I mean that drawing right there that's just amazing it's pastel. a pastel. you can call it painting well okay but it's still done with charcoal for pastels I mean look at the that's that's stuff you can't do unless you're doing it with paints that's crazy. And this, this one here, that is just dynamite. Her name is Ann Justin. If you uh, want to look her up. And my website is AnnJustinPastels.com. <laughs> Yeah. 
Now this little lady here can <laughs> pick you, can pick up these big cement things and carry them in here <laughs> single-handedly. Do you want me to do a, a, a demo? A demo? <laughs> no. I actually there's kind of stuck on you. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very talented artist. Indeed. Oh, I like the one. I never saw that one. That's some of the work she does. This is Deborah McKenna. Robert Duvall was in a booth behind us in a restaurant. And I was listening to him talk. And I'm like, wow, it's so familiar. I know who that is. There was Robert Duvall. That was nice because I really like him. I love him. him. I, love I really him. love him. Yes. But like you said, most of them are But that's the one I want. And some of the other artists that have been recording you. driving. Incomplete map data area follow with caution. <laughs> hey man! <laughs> We're headed home. What time is it? It's almost 11 o'clock. Yeah, that's not bad. No, it's not. We'll get, let's see, let's do the math now. Well, you're, see, Dave, Three hours, that'll be... You ever rode one of those horses on the beach and when you turn them towards the barn, you're like, barn shower? <laughs> you just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Four hours. I mean, three hours, so that'd be two o'clock. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> 
I might stop a few places, you never know. <sighs> In one tenth of a mile, turn right onto Second Avenue South. <laughs> what? Oh, it's oh, up there. Stopping straight. Why would they want me to turn? I don't know. Hey, She's go. demanding. I ain't doing it. She's also I very like controlling. She wants me to turn right now. It's a one way. We got issues going on. Here. <laughs> <laughs> a mile, turn right onto Fourth Avenue South. What the heck? <laughs> Why do they keep one? Just keep going straight. Oh, I, I am. I am. I'm not listening. I to this mean, girl. you don't have to listen to her. <laughs> you ain't married to her. God. She she does this to me. She aggravates me sometimes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, I just gotta deal with it. I don't take it personal. Jeez, I these roads. Yeah. They probably just poured asphalt over the dirt roads that were here in the first place. You watch this ball. Oh. Ooh. Yep. Well, you know that speed trap, so nobody's racing down this straightaway yeah. here. Now, well, now, well, we're facing the, I think the Air Force Station is up there, or Air Force uh, it is. Yes, Airport the Air is up there. Right, we're right ready to go over the Missouri River. Yeah, let me uh, show you that one. Yes. Yeah, that's the, that's the Air, Air Force base. That's the Missouri River. The uh, Lewis and Clark expedition came up this river. Oh, they are right there in that red boat. Yep. Yeah. What red boat? Oh, that boat. Yeah, that's them. <laughs> I, I wonder what this place looked like. This is the Missouri that we're driving along now. But I wonder what this place looked like. Well, pretty, probably looks it's, pretty much like the bare much, land up yeah, there. Didn't have much going on. Up there. A lot yeah. of cottonwood trees, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I think one of the either Lewis or or Clark was chased by a grizzly bear here too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that was a frequent ordeal. Because see, the grizzlies and the elk and everything were all plains oh, animals yeah, back then. Oh yeah, yeah, and they, they were, were a lot more they, plentiful they, back we, then. We didn't shove them up in the mountains. Yeah. That was a bald eagle. Did you see that? Yeah. Man. That's too bad. I almost want to get the feathers out of it, but that'd be a, a federal offense. Yeah, 10,000 per feather. That's exactly right. I think and I don't know how many years in jail. <laughs> Even though they're not protected today like they used to be. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of them out here. Yeah. Yesterday I saw them a couple flying around. Anyway. Well, past that gas station is the Heritage Inn. That's where. We did our show for three days. That bluff off in the distance there appears in a lot of Charlie Russell's paintings in the background. This is Charlie Russell country up here. This is where, uh, if you don't know who he is, look him up on uh, YouTube. I mean, YouTube, but look uh, Charlie Russell up on Google. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he uh, was he, he and Remington were the two famous Western painters of the 1800s and the early 1900s. And that bluff was certainly in a lot of Charlie Russell's paintings. They had so much good material there. <laughs> they had little, they had little That's beautiful. There. Those look at that far off bluff back are you, there. Are you recording this time? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that land, that open prairie land. That reminds me of something. It's the kind of property you'd watch your dog run away for three days. Yeah, and you wouldn't care because he'd be safe. Give me land, lots of land with the starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Look at that line of cliffs right there. Unbelievable. This is the town of Cascade. Yeah, Cascade, Montana. Missouri breaks. I think I'm gonna take a right here. Let's see here. Uh, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this exit. Yeah. Those are big horn sheep, sheep out there. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine big horn sheep laying out there in the field or feeding. 
That's Paul taking a picture. This is God's country up here, baby. I tell you, just unbelievable. Guy out there in the river parks the boat and just get out and they wade out in the water. And look, this is beautiful water here. Crystal clear. Missouri River. Yeah. There's a guy over here behind me too. Yeah. Fishing. Oh, I wasn't recording. Oh, jeez, David. <laughs> well, I forgot to say record. Okay, let me get the date of this church before you record. I'm going to take camera with you. This is the oldest church in Montana, from what I understand. I don't think the outside. Well, it wouldn't be the oldest church it was, then, it was because built that, in 1880. Yeah, it's not the, the oldest then. The church up in uh, yeah. Virginia it's, it's, City, I think, is older because that town started in 1861. Yeah, it's 1880, so it's one of the oldest. And I heard it was like the oldest. But well, it ain't young. No, 1880. What almost three uh, three almost three thirty in the Actually, afternoon. It's 4 is it four thirty? Yeah. Oh you haven't set your clock ahead. That is correct, sir. Anyway, we're getting into the town of Venice where we where I live and uh it's a long trip. Right, Paul? It was a great trip. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped at a great restaurant in uh what was that town? Uh that was uh Clancy. Clancy, Montana. And we, I gotta turn this off. And we, we, uh, let me see here. We ate at the, uh, what was it called again? The, um, I can't remember. God damn. I think I might remember. Had that. the best beef, Sunday smoked night beef night. brisket I've ever eaten. Yeah, it was pretty good. It's something to do with gold mining, though. What was that called? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Turn left now. I hate it. She tells me what to do. Turn left. Turn left where? Get your gun out and shoot the mother. <laughs> She's driving me crazy. I gotta figure out a way to turn this thing off. Where you gonna? Oh, I, I, know, where go I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Okay. Yep. I'll edit that out in just in case the person watches. Exactly. Small town. All right, there's my house. That's it. All right, I'm going to end the video now, and I'll see you guys next time. Rough road. Keep playing with clay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.